We all know finding rotator cuff tears can be difficult. Here's a couple of tips for when you're looking at supraspinatus. So this is a transverse image of supraspinatus. We know that because we've got the long head of biceps here. So this is the anterior aspect of supra. And then you can see infra coming up here. Now, this is a true transverse image. How do I know that? Well, number one, I've got a nice transverse Im image of the biceps. Number two, the bone is bright. Number three, I've got a nice parallel band of articular cartilage and I've got a nice parallel rotator cuff relative to the humeral head. So this is a true transverse. But watch this, as soon as I rotate and I no longer have a true transverse, and you can tell that because I've lost that nice articular cartilage parallel band, I start to see dark patches and that's because I'm oblique and that is a nisotropy. So it is so important if you're scanning transverse that you are truly transverse. Otherwise, you're going to pick up dark patches that you think is either tendinopathy or an articular sided tear. OK, so you can see when we're oblique on it, this is no longer a parallel band and you can't see the parallel band of the articular cartilage. So there's a tip in transverse. In long, here's a couple of tips for you. So this is supraspinatus in long. This is the great tuberosity. If I push my probe forward, can you see I am now long on the long head of biceps, which means when I come laterally, I'm going to be truly long on supraspinatus. But also, can you see I can see the fibers in long? So if you say you're long on a normal tendon, you should see nice long fibers attaching in. However, watch this. If I'm not truly long and I rotate, look at these dark patches that you start to see. Oh, is that an articular sided tear? It's not. It's because you're oblique on the tendon. So make sure if you say you're long, you're long. Make sure you've got the bone bright. You can see that parallel band of cartilage. And as you push forward, you're on a nice long section of biceps. Did you find that video useful? If you did, don't worry, we've got loads more videos for you. You can like our videos, you can make a comment, you can subscribe to our channel to get all of our new videos, and you can even join our membership. Good luck scanning.